Hey guys, if you're getting an error on the Microsoft Store that reads something happened on our end, then keep watching as in this video I'm going to show you some quick and easy steps you can take to fix this issue. Now the first thing you need to do is come over to your start menu and search for run, then tap on the run icon and inside of this search box we need to type in wreset.exe and hit enter. Then this will load up the Microsoft Store, which will confirm that the application has been reset so we can come out of this window. And we're gonna then head back to our start menu and search for PowerShell. And you need to right click on Windows PowerShell and make sure to run as administrator. Now inside of here, we're gonna type in a command and I've already got this saved to my notepad here. So I'm just gonna copy all of this text and then paste it inside of here. And I'll leave this for you in the video description so you guys can come and copy and paste this as well. And what this command does is it's going to re-register the Microsoft Store. So once you've done that, we can close out of this terminal and we can then check to see if that's fixed the issue. Otherwise, move on to the next method. So if that's still not working, the next thing you need to do is come back to the start menu and search for settings. Then tap on the settings icon and come down to network and internet from the left here inside of VPN. And you want to ensure that your VPN is disabled. As you can see, mine says here not connected as sometimes by connecting to a VPN this can also cause this error message so once you've ensured that this is all disabled come over to apps from the left here and then come over to the installed apps tab and if we scroll all the way to the bottom of this page you'll see a section at the bottom called system components which we need to click and inside of these system components you should find the Microsoft Store then you need to select these three little dots and come into advanced options and we can scroll all the way down here and we need to press this repair button. So just allow this a few seconds to complete. And once that's done, we can head out of this window. And once again, you can check to see if that's fixed the issue. If that's still not working, another thing we can do is come back over to our start menu and search for run once again, tap on run. And this time we're gonna type in services.msc and hit enter. And inside of this list of services, you should see something called Microsoft Store Install Service. And once we found it, we just need to double click on this process. And next to service state, Status, it should be already set to running and we're just going to stop this process for a second and then we're going to restart it by clicking start then we can press ok and the last thing we're going to do is head over to our start menu and search for cmd and then right click on command prompt and make sure to run this one as administrator and inside of here we're going to type in sfc space slash scan now and hit enter and this is going to perform a scan that will check all of your windows system files just to ensure that nothing's corrupt or missing or damaged and you'll need to wait for this verification process to get to 100 percent and once that's finished you will need to restart your computer for all of your changes to take effect so so once you've restarted your computer that should have now fixed the issue with the Microsoft Store. If this video did help you then please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.